Boom, we're in finally, Friday morning, fucking phones. Welcome to the Morning JB Show. I'm your host, James Boardman. Um, if you are coming through and you watch, do like, comment and share this video for me. I massively appreciate it. So Wednesday, I talked about the importance of having a goal, um, how it can affect your moods, your future, the way you think, the way you act. And today I wanted to go through about how you can achieve a ton uh, of achievement before the end of the year. You've got 7.2 weeks before the year finishes, 7.2 weeks. And for many people around this time of year, they're just kind of winding down. Instead, I want you to wind the fuck up, okay, and go into 2020 on a high, buzzing, and with momentum. So I'm going to set you a challenge. And that challenge is for you over the weekend to plan the next seven weeks to do things that you didn't think that you could, that you didn't think were possible, that you thought were unachievable. So instead of sitting there moaning about work, complaining about life and things not happening for you, you're going to flip that 180 and you're going to make those plans and you're going to achieve a much higher level of living for the next seven weeks. And you're gonna challenge yourself. You're gonna not feel sorry for yourself. You're not gonna make excuses. You're gonna fucking have a mindset of an elite operator where you're going into this full on, fully committed and ready to achieve the next level or a next level in your happiness, in your well-being, in your health, in your business, in your relationships and your personal development, all right? We're not fucking around here. If you're ready to, if you if you really want to change the way that you're living, all right, you're going to jump in on this. All right, so there are four categories, as I mentioned briefly there. All right, um, these are the categories for my book. It's a state of mind, which you can pre-order the audio book. Just a quick plug. So the links on the page. Four categories: health, the priority, business, or career, or work, whatever it is. Okay, relationships and personal development. All right, so what I want you to think about in your health right now, if you are doing nothing, okay, and you are constantly making excuses while you're not doing anything, one of your end of year challenges could be, right, I want to lose a stone. All right, it's measurable. You can measure that weekly. You can work out how many pounds you need to lose a week to achieve that stone. You can fuck it, you go two stone, 10x those goals. Right, if you've got two stone to lose, then fucking try and lose it by the end of the why can't you? Why can't you lose that two stone by the end of end of the year? If you're training, if you haven't run for months, why don't you set yourself a standard to try and run ten miles in those seven weeks? Ten X the way that you're thinking. Alright? In your mindset, oh, I just want to learn to run a mile. Fuck that. Run ten miles because the process is what's going to change you. It's not that end goal, it's the process from right now, today, from you making your plan to that last day of the year, the process in you developing yourself, overcoming obstacles, overcoming barriers, overcoming bullshit excuses, saying the same old shit, I'm tired, I'm fatigued. If you say to yourself, I'm going to run 10 miles, you tell everybody by the end of the year and you throw yourself into that. You are then putting yourself on the line, but then you're pushing yourself much further than you normally do. And you, you might get to five miles. You might get to seven miles. That's still five or seven miles that you weren't doing or you're not doing right now. Okay, And you're pushing and striving for that higher level of thinking. Business. Okay, what can you do if you are an employee? What can you do to get noticed for, uh, for promotion? If you're a business owner, what can you do to get more customers through your door? Are you pushing your business as hard as you can? Are you pushing the people around you as hard as you can? Can, you, can your work productivity be much higher? Can you be better with your time management, with your time efficiency, with your energy consumption? Look at those things. Look at the way you're doing it. Could you, could you apply for another job and get another job by the end of the year if you're miserable in the job that you're in? Okay, and sit, instead of sitting there and taking a punch in the face every single day because you hate your job. Relationships, can you build any relationships that are broken? Can you put more effort into relationships? Can you spend more time on relationships? What are the relationships that matter the most and that you are neglecting? It could be business relationships. It could be you want to go out and you want to build up a relationship with three or four different people in the same industry as you so you can build up that relationship. I don't know. 
It's down to you. Personal development, what can you do in terms of personal development to raise the way that you're thinking? Can you listen to a podcast a day? Can you listen to two podcasts a day? Can you start reading a book? Can you start learning about something specific, self-learning, raising your game? There are loads of things here. The whole world is your opportunity, and especially with the way that the internet works today, there is nothing to stop you in terms of that personal development. If anything, okay, get that under control, this. Once this is under control, everything else underneath kind of falls into place. Set yourself one target, one goal. Make sure it's challenging. Make sure it's rewarding. Make sure it has meaning. Make sure it's going to get your ass out of bed. Make sure it's going to overcome every single bullshit little excuse that you come up with to squeeze out of it and to duck it and get out of the way and not do it. This is a great opportunity for you to be able to take control of your life, okay? Instead of making the same, same bullshit excuses, oh, I'm not motivated, oh, I'm not, like, you know, I'm not into it, I, I can't get myself, you know, up on my feet and out and doing things. This 7.2 7 weeks for you to take charge. In between that time, I'm running a five-day fire up challenge at the end of November. You can get yourself on there as well. That's going to help boost your mindset, which I'll put details out next week. But for now, this weekend, go and find a piece of paper, write those four headings down, and then think of four things that you want to try and achieve by the end of the year that are going to put you out of your comfort zone, that are going to stop, that is going to stop the rut, that is going to stop the, the drifting and coasting through life waiting for someone to come along and save you because no one is, you've got to fucking do this yourself, all right? Take ownership of yourself, your, your mental well-being, your physical well-being, your emotional well-being, okay, and start stepping up. First steps right here. Have an amazing weekend. I will catch you soon. If you want to share your goals, stick them in this feed right here. I'd love to see them. If you want to screenshot them and stick them in, do that, all right? Have a great weekend. I'll catch you soon.